Questions for Demond? Demond, the, the yardage you put on the, the stat sheet today was more than you had in your entire career prior at Wake Forest. How does that feel to have a game like this? Um, it feels amazing. You know, uh, we, we work so hard in the offseason for this opportunity and this chance. Uh, my old lineman today, hats off to those guys. You know, they take they, they tail off for me. So I'm grateful to, to even be back there running behind those guys. You know, they made it happen. And then we made it happen as a group. So, yeah, it was amazing. Describe to us, based on what you saw, game film, game study, and then what was happening on the field, like what would you say put you guys in a position to execute? Yeah, so going into the game, we knew that they were going to drop back in the coverage. They didn't want to give up explosive plays, big plays. And so the, the, this week at practice, our coach emphasized, you know, putting the ball where it needs to be and trusting in it. And so uh, some of my beginning my first carries, I wasn't really trusting it at first. And then uh, my coach pulled me to the side, like everything we went over in film and practice is right there, like execute. And so uh, I started trusting my rules, and we started moving the ball, and we had a, we had a very successful day. How many times did you believe? How many times did you think you were one tackle away from taking it all away? A couple times. <laughs> yeah, a couple times. But you know, um, all that matters is we got we got the first down, and we kept the ball moving, and uh, we was able to make plays on the perimeter. Um, I also was able to drop it to help protect Mitch. So you know, um, yeah, the rushing it was cool, but. Like, it, like I said, we had a team win, and it was amazing, so I'm cool with that. What you think Were they that trying team? to get you into the end zone? Were they trying to get you into the end zone on the last drive? No, nah, it was just uh, it was just our formation. Coach wanted the ball in my hands. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really, you know, a touchdown is a touchdown, but I'm just happy we had a successful day on the ground, and we was able to, we was able to run the ball. So, touchdowns will come later, so that's cool. <laughs> you broke a lot of tackles today. Mm -hmm. What? What's the trick to breaking tackles that seem to be so successful? I don't necessarily know it's a trick. Uh, just really just keep your feet moving and just believe that you can do it and believe you can win. Um, when you step on the field, it's, it's you against him. So you want to be able to you know, keep your head down and know that you know it's me against you and I'm going to walk out the champ. So, yeah. And take his performance. I know he's a little down and you get to play last week. But, yeah. uh, how impressed were you with Tater? I love Tater. So uh, that, that's my boy. Me and Tater, uh, we watch film a lot this week. Uh, when he gets in the game, I'm so excited for him because I've, I've know we we've been through so much as a group collectively, and so also with Justice, like we all been together um, and we we really wanted this and grinded. And going into the Elon game was kind of frustrating because we really couldn't um, run the ball that well. But coming back and uh, Justice going down, me and Tate knew we had to step up. And so uh, yeah, just playing next to that dude, he's a motivator, he's inspirational, so he, he keeps us on our toes, he keeps us going. So yeah, Tate's an awesome, awesome teammate and a great guy to be around. What kind of uh, guidance did you get from Justice over the last couple of days? Justice just told me to breathe, you know, to be patient, <laughs> you know, because I was amped up. And then when they delayed the game, I'm in the locker room shaking, like I want to go, you know. But uh, Justice, uh, he told me to calm down. I actually. Uh, so I snapped my cleat and I actually put Justin's initials on my cleat, just letting him know that like, even though you're not playing, we still do this for you. Because ultimately, like he's the leader in our room, you know. So when we go on, to, when we go on to war, Justice he goes out there first. So we we're a tight group. We love each other hard. So yeah, Justice is a great motivator, also a great guy to be around. So when you're ramped up like that, how do you how do you settle down? How does that how does that work? I uh, put my headphones on, listen to my favorite artist, Rod Wade. You know. It's <laughs> But uh, other than that, yeah, just, just listen to Raleigh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look good? All right, thanks to Mom. Thank you. Guys.